Well, I think we're about to get this thing started. So this will be the Richard Pavlicek game. I'm sorry. I'm like, <coughs> I like just got home. So um, hopefully this all uh, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's take a look at what's going on. We have 24 boards, barometer scoring, undo's loud. Hello, Lloyd. I don't know who Lloyd is. I guess that's our opponents. Um, hi, Ops. So what's what are they doing? Strong club, variable no trump. Uh, oh, we both said the exact same thing, partner and I. Great. Looks good. Um... Let's see, I should say we are 15 to 17, 2 over 1, UDCA. Over there, one diamond, two diamonds natural, two hearts, and three diamonds are both my goals. Fine. So, what, what is, hold on, what is the, wait, there are two clubs and two diamond bids or natural intermediate. I guess that makes sense because their one diamond could be zero. Where did, uh, where did they say that? One diamond could be zero. Um, they say one heart, one spade is Kaplan inversion. I think that means that one heart, one spade denies four spades. I'm not entirely sure about that. <clears throat> what about Kaplan inversion, one heart, one spade? Uh, good question. A club, a heart, two diamond overcall. I have nothing. I will pass. Hey, Allie. Good morning. Or maybe it's like already afternoon for you. They recommend, so the opponents are giving us a recommended defense to their one heart, one spade thing. Double is a spade over call and no trump is take out of hearts. I feel like this doesn't take advantage of the artificiality and what's going on in their system. What's going on here? The opponents are in three diamonds. I think I'm happy. Question is, do I lead the king of hearts or do I lead a diamond? The simplest way to set is probably if I can get a heart rough. So I guess I'm going to lead the king of hearts. <clears throat> Ooh, yeah, look at that. I can totally get a heart rough. <laughs> wow. Um, I guess West has to have a pretty good hand. Because partner didn't take a second call. Being short in diamonds and whatnot. Hold on, what is the form of scoring? Have we figured this out yet? It's barometer scoring, but is it imps or is it match points? <laughs> or <laughs> imps or border match, I guess. Um, <clears throat> hmm. All right, looks like we get our heart rough. Partner is going to think about what suit preference to give. Eight of hearts. <clears throat> Have I been watching the heart spots? Not really. Um, Either way, I mean, it looks like this is technically low. I think I'm just going to go like ace of spades, ace of clubs, whatever. I 
I could probably switch to a low spade. Like it's probably safe to switch to a low spade. It would be nice to know if we were playing M's or match points. Uh, we'll find out soon enough in the barometer scoring. Let's just go ace of spades, ace of clubs, something. Uh, ace of spades, ace of clubs. I guess maybe partner has a diamond on her. That's what Declare's thinking about right now. So Declare's hand was what? Like King, Queen of Spades, Queen of Hearts. Looks like Ace, Queen, whatever of diamonds. Feel the claim coming. Yeah, so declare at 16. We five. So what does that mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> we five. Well, it's not board a match. I'll tell you that. Looks, oh my God, I am eight five. <laughs> I just noticed the hand in front. This is a lot of red cards, isn't it? Holy shit. If it comes past pass to me, I think I'm going to balance six hearts. Um, whew. <laughs> well, this is definitely a hand. I mean, obviously, if West bids some number of spades, I can also just bid six hearts. I, I guess if we're trying to find our way to a grand... What would I need to happen, have happen? I'm not sure there's a sensible way to get to a grand. Oh, you know what I could do? I can bid six hearts now because West might be hoping to, um, like, to like cheaply buy it and whatever. And if I bid six hearts, it might go past past six spades. And then I can pass, forcing. I still don't think partner's necessarily going to get the picture, but that might be our best chance of getting to a grand. Um, I guess it's also possible that, like, I end up passing six spades, it gets doubled, and six hearts goes down. I think that's very possible. Nope. We're just in six hearts. Thanks, Pard. Okay, not too bad. So, King of Clubs lead. Well, let's pull some trumps. King of Clubs is a really weird lead. So they said that two clubs and two diamonds are natural invitational, so like, you know, intermediate twos. Um, I'm just going to ask about two spades. Assuming it is weak. Okay, thanks. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, so, oh, no one can see. Yes, uh, opponent responded to me privately, saying that two spades is weak. All right, let's start. Let's start pulling trumps. Trumps have split, so that's good news. West started with one heart. They led the king of clubs. I mean, personally, in a precision context, I think if as East I had the king, queen of clubs, the king of spades, and the king of diamonds, I would open at the one level. So it looks like my best chance is to just go ace of diamonds, duck of diamond, hoping West has king doubleton. It's, it's not like I can actually do something clever, like run the ten of diamonds or whatever. I just have no dummy entry. So let's go ace of diamonds, duck of diamond. Well, I'm definitely going to uh, I'm definitely going to run the eight of diamonds now. I mean, there's no way West is dumping the jack from king nine, whatever. So happy to run the eight of diamonds. <clears throat> All right, and a beer. Lovely hand partner. The queen third of diamonds was just enough. 1430, we'll take it. Wow, <laughs> nice two spade opener, by the way. We won nine. Five hearts doubled. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> they couldn't find the blue card after five hearts got ripped? That's incredible. That's actually amazing. <laughs> How did you not bid at least six hearts on the north hand? I mean, you, you have two loser hand, you know, I guess five hearts is conservative. That's not the real way that you should be playing imps, I don't think. <laughs> not with eight, five. Thanks. A diamond, two clubs. I will... See, this is a hand where I would very much love to be able to bid two diamonds, but I don't think in this partnership I, I will risk it. East probably has a pretty good hand, and two diamonds would take away the cubid from them. It opens up the door for them to find their major fits, like maybe East can make a responsive double, but for whatever reason, just removing the cubid kind of works. I'm not sure that it was a striped-tailed ape in the other auction. Um, I mean, maybe West is planning to run to five spades if they get rewound, but five spades was not going to play very well, not with the 5-0 trump split. At least I don't think so. All right, two spades by East, two no trump by West. Three hearts by East. Looks like a two-diamond bid would not have affected this auction too much. Four hearts by West, all pass. Finally, the opponents get aboard. <clears throat> Trump lead makes a lot of sense. I'm not feeling too hopeful about our defensive prospects, but I mean, this is a pretty good dummy. They are in a 4-3 heart fit, though. Um, kind of worth noting. Two 
two of spades is count, although it is possible that partner might be able to read some sort of implication of suit preference in that card. So partner's turned up with the spade ace, not much in the club suit, not much in the heart suit. They got to have the diamond ace. I mean, presumably it doesn't matter too much what I do on this trick. I guess I'll try the king. Oh, declarer was 5-5. Five, five. Look at that. How many boards in this one? There are 24. It's going to be a long one. It's going to be quite a long evening. But the opponents are playing quickly, so that is fortunate for us. Who have we got at the other table? We have, oh no, <laughs> these guys. So I don't know who Richard is playing with. Um, I'm, I'm just going to claim one trick. <clears throat> we get the Ace of Diamonds. 650, push board. So yeah, what's going on in the other room? So Mark Chen and Brad Thurr are an old partnership that I used to know from my local club back in like Washington, DC, that area. And I think they've done some commentary on BBO in the past. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that. All right, one diamond could be a zero card suit. I will overcall a spade. And then who is Pavlicek playing with? Cindy Yan. I wonder if this is like a sponsored thing. I have no idea. I, I don't know if Pavlicek plays, but like organizes this to help his, um, help solidify his bankroll. I'm not sure. <clears throat> well, I do have a good hand if they decide to go after me. I don't know if I'm going to be all that happy. All right, two hearts by West. Um, sure. You can play two hearts. I am content here. Oh, apparently they can play four hearts. Okay. Ooh, notably, partner and I haven't discussed what to do over these doubles, so I don't think partner had an, like a two spade bid available to show a very weak raise. It would have just been, you know, like two spades or whatever. Let's leave my suit, king of spades. That is a hand. Oh, what I said about my partner. So this is, um, he's from India. He is... At least in the past, he definitely was a fairly strong player. Back when I was learning how to play the game, um, like his family is just a bunch of like, I would say low level expert players. And they taught me a lot when I was um, kind of first starting out. I haven't been paying attention to this hand, should I be? Club to the King doesn't feel like West is concerned about me continuing spades. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play the Spade Queen. I assume this is caching. And then, I mean, I can't imagine that um, a diamond switch is going to be helpful. OK, the Spade Queen wasn't caching. It just didn't matter what I did. <clears throat> Heart. Yeah, he's, he's like, oh, partner had the Ace of Hearts. Wow. 
So does this mean that a low diamond might have uh, beaten this? Maybe. It seems unlikely. If partner had the diamond king and the heart ace, they would have found a two spade bid. Um, we can claim, right? We can definitely claim. Great. 650. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to answer questions. I'm, I'm doing a terrible job of like answering questions or playing bridge. Um, <laughs> I'm like half-assing both of them and it's not really being very effective. But yes, he's, he's like in, I think he's like retired from playing bridge a bunch. So he's probably a lot weaker of a player than he used to be. Um, but he's an old friend, he now has a family. He's moved back to India. He is a software engineer, um, works at his family's company and just all around kind of fun, likable guy. Well, this is quite an auction. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess I'm gonna double If we had better agreements about forcing passes here, like maybe I would, <laughs> like what was I gonna do over four spades? I might have doubled four spades. I don't know what this five spade bit is. Um, okay, eight of hearts. That does look like a third best heart from, I mean, it's possible that this is, not from a heart suit? Like, is it possible that that's high from three small? No. Partner would have led the 10 if he had 10 thirds. So this is third best. Looks like king 10 fourth. Five spades is such a weird bid. I mean, I assume I should switch to diamonds. All right. Hey, Zapsniff. How's it going? It's going okay. We are definitely doing all right. I mean, we're up 14 nothing after four boards. That always feels good. So two diamonds should be like an attitude shift or switch which tells partner that I'm okay with him returning the diamond suit. If I really didn't want a diamond back, I would lead a higher spot. <clears throat> I would say generally you want to be giving count in situations where You're cashing high cards. So if I were to like cash the king of diamonds, partner would give me diamond count. Um, but here I'm kind of content to uh, just lead a low diamond. Obviously, if we were playing some sort of like count signal switch, like maybe I would be forced to lead the three of diamonds through declare. <laughs> this is like our second time playing in 10 years. So we don't have a lot of solid agreements. I mean, it's mostly just a very generic two over one card. Robot Bridge feels so fake. I mean, Robot Bridge is so fake. If you watched my NABC <laughs> videos, like I'm pretty confident I can average 70%, which would have easily won the event um, if I had just started doing this weird thing where you open a no trump on like every hand. <laughs> and, all right, partner tries the king of hearts. I will give a middle heart spot to say, I don't care which suit you play next. It looks to me like we have a spade loser. Um, probably no diamond losers, but maybe a club loser in uh, a heart contract. <clears throat> Q 
Queen of Diamonds, partner can win the ace. I will give count on this trick. This is maybe more so the situation where like switching to the three of diamonds. Um, was the heart slam cold? It looks like we have a club loser to me. So let me play a... <clears throat> like declare is always just guessing the clubs. I'm, I'm just gonna go ace of clubs club. Oh, was the heart slam cold on board too? It was, check out my hand. I don't know, I'm just gonna go ace of clubs club. I'm happy to be collecting 800 on this one. We good? They got four because five hearts was cold. Okay, congrats guys. Nice five spade bid. Wow, North decided to just blast. I, I don't know what's going on in their auction. A heart, two spades, three clubs. Did they bid two spades at our table? Oh, they did bid two spades at our table. I wasn't even paying attention to the two spade bid. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Strong one club. Let's see if partner can find a bid. So my partner actually used to play a lot of precision. Like back when I played one time with him and his family, uh, we played precision. It was a very simple precision. It wasn't like transfer relay precision or whatever. But um, so he's very familiar with precision systems. Also being from India, I think we talked about this the other day that that part of the world is much more familiar with um, these precision hand types. So club a spade pass is less than four high card points or a penalty double of spades. Uh, I actually don't know how to show a limit raise. I'm just gonna bid two spades, I think it's fine. I do recall though, back in the day, he used to like bidding on very short suits. Like, I don't know if specifically him, but other family members of his have been known to preempt on four card suits. Uh, all right, the opponent's got to four hearts. I am happy to pass. I don't have a lot of offense, and I have okay defense. I mean, maybe I'm supposed to bid four spades. I just don't know. I'm a little less familiar with precision style systems. I would be much happier if I was able to show like a limit raise here. I'm not sure I have one, but <laughs> If I had been able to show values with my two spade bid, then um, I would be much happier passing four hearts here. I bet partner's wondering if my pass indicates more defense than offense. And honestly, I don't know what my hand should look like. I have, I'm four triple three, which is bad, but and I have weak trumps, but I have no wasted hearts. And I have probably some pretty useful values, including an entry. Club finesse is probably working if we need it. He's probably expecting four spades to be a good save. He might just bid it himself. I wouldn't call it like breaking partnership discipline to bid three spades and then bid four spades, but he does pass. Queen of Spades lead. I will, that is a lot of hearts. I feel like we've done the wrong thing. Ace of Spades, I can now signal for diamonds. And partner should know. Partner is a good card reader. He will be paying attention to my spot cards. So he knows that that three of spades was do not switch to clubs. So 
So what does East have? East has the Ace King of Hearts, obviously. I mean, Ace King Fifth of Hearts, right? <clears throat> That's seven. I mean, jack of spades is eight. We might barely beat this a trick, but... I have the feeling that... Yeah, declare just has the king, queen of diamonds. So how good was four spades? That's the real question. We have two diamonds, two clubs, and that's it? Wow, five hearts down one. Yikes. <laughs> Pavlicek, what a fucking clown. He passes over two now. Wow, two now. He passes over two now and then bids four spades. Gross. Well. Maybe that one's on me. Not sure. I do not face a lot of precision. I mean, especially in the robot events, I do not face a lot of precision. So <laughs> it's I, I effectively have zero practice playing against systems that are not two over one and playing against opponents who don't just like do the mathematical thing at every opportunity. I don't know. Am I supposed to bid four spades over four hearts on my cards? Maybe. Hard to say. Heart of spade, two hearts. Hmm. Okay, good luck, partner. All right, brain off time. I don't have to do anything for the rest of this board. That's great. We can now sit and ponder whether or not board six 12 imps were my fault. Hmm. I mean, I assume it's only 100, but maybe things are a little bit more complicated because we only have eight trumps and diamonds split really badly. Yeah, maybe it's actually 300 in four spades. Either way, it would have been a much better result than four hearts making. Hmm. I don't know. Question, do the numbers by the sides of the nicknames actually say much about the strength of the player? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, the numbers represent your online accumulated master points, and it's in groups of 100. So I have 1,800 online master points. Lloyd has 700, Argo has four, partner has 700. Uh, but it's the same as the normal master point ranking system. It's just if you play more, then you get more points. Obviously, like, you still have to win, but, um, but yeah, that's the idea. The master point system is so broken. Thought about doubling, West says, on the previous board. Why did West think about doubling? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. You know, look, if, if they want to go for 800, then that's cool. I, I approve. 
but you probably shouldn't be thinking about that. Not in an imp game. We have a four count. One diamond could be zero. Partner has overcalled a spade. So again, we, if West makes a negative double, and I'm not saying they will, I don't have any available spade raise that would deny values. And probably to be consistent with, oh, OK, West passed. I am very happy to pass. I have a spade fit. I think it's very, like, West clearly has spades, right? Because otherwise, this auction doesn't make sense. I have four. East is limited. Partner couldn't double, so they're limited. Um, so I think East, if they had reopened with double, West was going to pass it out. At least that was the plan. Now I'm a little bit worried. Uh, partner has decided to continue getting involved in this auction. I think I should play this hand in hearts. OK, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm totally out of here. West has now decided to support clubs. <clears throat> Whoa. That's six highs. East is limited to like, I, I guess we don't know. Did they alert their strong club earlier? Yes. It just says strong artificial, so we don't have a high card point limit. Um, ace of spades from ace king. Sorry, I, I paused at trick one. I didn't really mean to. I know now this gives partner a bit of an ethical problem. That's my bad. Um, I'm shocked. Partner has ace, king, jack, let's say, fifth of spades. They have... <clears throat> I don't know. This is a, this is a puzzling hand. I feel like also what I mean, what is partner doubling with? They don't have hearts. Wow, he just decides to let Declare a Pitch art loser. Oh, Declare a Pitch is a diamond. What is going on? Club to the ace. King of clubs, yep. Was Declare 6-5 or something? No. I mean, we're not beating it. <laughs> I'll say that much. We're definitely not beating it. <clears throat> Wasn't playing the Jack of Hearts a really weird play? Yeah, like, nice, nice practice finesse, right? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't understand what happened. I guess North was end played if the finesse lost. So <laughs> there really wasn't any danger. Um... <laughs> that still still seemed like a very strange play. <laughs> I guess it didn't matter. Just nothing mattered. Two 
Two no trump, all pass, my favorite auction. <laughs> A lot of push boards. Man, we're down by two? Is this all my fault? I'm sorry, partner. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Two no trump, pass, pass, double. Everyone's favorite auction. Spade lead. Thanks, pard. Nine of spades is interesting. Did the opponent say anything about their carding? They just said upside down. Nine of spades is a weird lead. So is West going to continue spades? played the queen of diamonds there. Um, all right, I'll pitch a heart for now. Nine of spades does seem like a very strange lead. All right. They'll tell me if the clubs don't split. I imagine. Any minute now. Nine of spades from nine, eight, seven, fourth. Interesting. They scored five. Two no trump in the north, <laughs> making three. Well, that's sad. They got the eight of spades lead to the jack and ace, and then a spade came back. Reasonable. Looks like the nine of spades was the winning lead this time. That worked out pretty well. East did very well to trust their partner. Low diamond to the 10, and then East instantly returned a low diamond. Not at all afraid. Ooh, okay, this is cute. I noted on the previous thing that they were playing 11 to 13 of balanced, um, depending on vulnerability, right? So East was in third seed, 11 to 13 for their diamond opener. Now it's 14 to 16. Wait, isn't that backwards? So their no trump opener vulnerable is 11 to 13 and not vulnerable is 14 to 16. Is that normal? Does, hold on, wait a second. A diamond, a spade, three diamonds. I'm all here for this auction. This is going great for me. I wonder what three diamonds even shows, if one diamond could be zero. This has to be like a seven card suit, right? Hmm. Maybe it's just their way to force with diamonds, like two diamonds would be something else. Who are these people? I guess my, my partner is like friendly with them. It is Jason M. No idea. And Lloyd Raleigh, also no idea. Oh god, no, partner, please. This is not where I wanted to end up. I think at match points I would pass this in a heartbeat. I'm not going to do that at teams. I will bid three hearts.
Thanks, Bard. Wow, maybe I should have passed. Partner sounds terrible. I don't think it would help to know the opponent's <laughs> lead in carding signals, but I would like to know that information if I could figure it out. I wonder what West does here. Maybe switches to Trumps? They could be looking at a really awkward Trump holding to switch from. I mean, they might switch to club. Like, if West doesn't have the club king, they might switch to clubs. OK, they do. <clears throat> I have no hand entry. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, I mean, I would love to take a spade finesse, I think to pitch my diamond loser. Maybe that club switch is just a singleton. I guess that would make some sense as well. It probably is, actually. The nine of clubs is consistent with it. So if I lose two hearts and a club rough from here, I'm okay, right? Ace of spades, spade, rough, heart. West wins, club, I stick in the eight. West roughs. Oh, I just said west twice in the same sentence for two different players, that's okay, we'll move past it. And then as long as west only had, or as long as east had two hearts, I can pull the last trumps. The King of Hearts, rough a diamond. I don't know, it's gotta be the best plan, right? Jason Meyer, Lloyd Raleigh, both Maryland, 3,500 master points, gotcha. We are totally playing the king if East plays low. I mean, this might go badly if East doesn't give their partner club rough. Maybe I should have thought a little bit more on this line of play. Man, East is long in the tank here. OK, they do play the Ace of Hearts. And now are they going to play a low club? I'm totally sticking in the eight. No, they go Jack of Hearts. Huh. That I did not expect. So spade rough, club to the eight, spade rough, dummy's good, club to the jack. I, I am playing a club to the eight, right? <laughs> Let's, I mean, this is also making 11 tricks, or 10 tricks, which I don't need to do. I could go spade rough, club to the jack. Like, that, that's just not what's going on, though. I could go spade rough club to the ace. Even if it gets roughed, I have a claim. We're definitely playing a club to the eight now, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> I 
All right, you, you guys can have one trick whenever you want to take it. <clears throat> I don't know, like, was, was there a safer line of play than to make the over trick there? I'm not sure. I just, like, it was very clear what was going on on that hand. Three spades down three. That is, that is a big 10 imps. I'll take it. Oh no, this always happens when I declare hands. The opponents start questioning each other's defense. <laughs> Listen, if, if I was trying to win at bridge, this is what I love doing. I love seeing the opponents like halfway through a match start <laughs> being like, hey, why didn't you give me a rough? Um, but, <laughs> but I don't know if it's good content. We'll see. Sorry, did it matter? It was with a natural. It, it really just didn't matter, did it? Oh, no, no, no. East had the queen of hearts. Oh, my god. Wow. OK, well, it was just an over trick. It, it didn't cost anything. Partners open two hearts weak. I know that we play August. I know we also play five card suits are possible at these colors. I guess I'm just gonna pass. Good luck, part. Hopefully it's not a five card suit. I'm sure it's a five card suit. It's like 100%. Ooh, look at that. Partner has some stuff. So first question is four spades a good spot? I guess second question is four hearts a good spot? We have a diamond and two clubs to lose. We have a heart loser. So four hearts is no good, I, I don't think. Four spades, if the spade hook is working. We have six spades. A club trick is seven. The ace king of hearts is nine. Maybe we get a diamond rough, but then we might need king double ton of spades on. I mean, I'm happy to just be in a Heart square, I guess. Are we making two hearts? Maybe that's an important question to ask. <laughs> I hope so. I think partner should pitch spades. I don't think he should be pitching diamonds or clubs. I mean, we haven't made it yet. I have not been following the... Uh, the carding. Okay, now we have made it. That eight of clubs is a winner. Ooh, king of diamonds is also a winner. Look at that. Spade hook was off. So presumably four spades doesn't make, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if we lost a game swing. It's not invulnerable. Push board. Oh, I'm on the other table's results. They played three spades down three. Two spades was non-forcing. If I had a non-forcing two spade bid available, I would do it. But partner and I have not discussed. It's probably right to play two spades non, or to play new suit non-forcing if your preamps can contain five. So, we probably should be playing it, but for a memory constraint, I guess we aren't. All right, a diamond, a heart. We could rebid two clubs or a no trump. Both are probably fine. I will rebid two clubs. I'm very happy to have partner declare the no trump if he wants to. I guess a no trump makes game forces easier on partner. He could start with two diamonds rather than two spades. Oh, or we could end up in two clubs, which is also probably good. Your dad was a good player. His account only says seven plus. So I can tell you that these 1800 have only been collected since I started streaming which means it's a relatively new thing that 
I, I don't know what relatively new means, but I quit playing pro, um, you know, back in like 2015, 2016, and I had not accumulated any value for my online master points at that time. So it's very possible that your father didn't just didn't um, play recently enough to collect any. Six of spades. I have a heart, a diamond, a trump. I think I'm just gonna like try and mostly cross ref this hand. It might depend what happens at trick one. Let's play low. Six, three, seven, nine. Yeah, let's play diamonds. It doesn't look like if I go ace of clubs club, I'm gonna um, guarantee to um, <clears throat> score eight tricks, so this feels safe. I mean, obviously, if they get spade roughs, so be it. It might be difficult. I think I will plan on taking the dive and roughing hook. If given the opportunity. Heart to the king is weird. West, or I keep saying west. I am north. East, the player on my left, left-hand opponent, did not lead a heart from the ace king of hearts. Or West has underled an ace once again. Like West underled the ace of diamonds on the previous board as well. Kind of strange. Have a good day, Allie. See you later. Thanks for stopping by. Spade continuation. Let's play low. I'm totally taking this roughing hook. Your father mostly played with humans. He got third in some European championship in Nice. No, he used to play with the Norwegian national team. It's up for them on a couple of occasions. He didn't teach you bridge when you were younger. That's really sad. Long tank from east once again. All right, now what do I do? I've taken four tricks. Um, I mean, presumably anything like makes this contract from here. So I guess safest might be Ace of Clubs Club or something. I think the club hook is probably off. Ooh, it's not. That's neat. I cannot score a beer. That is so sad. All right. I mean, maybe I could try and score a beer, but it's probably not worth it. Lost one, two clubs making five. We're halfway done. Oh, this is wonderful. We're like an hour in. 
That's not too bad, an hour for 12 horns. I wonder how they played in the other room. Ace of hearts lead, king of hearts continuation. <laughs> Why did East not lead the ace king of hearts at our table? <laughs> Does anyone understand what happened? <laughs> That's so weird. A no trump by partner. <laughs> I think we're good. Partner was in third seat. We might make three now. I do have some majors and some spot cards. I mean, we might make four spades also, but feels like just passing out a no trump is the way to go. How are we doing on the score? We are, I have no idea what our team is. We are up by two. We're 24-22. Still not sure how I feel about board six. Maybe this is all on me, not bidding four spades. I mean, I never expected them to have 10 hearts. Hmm. What happened to trick one? Partner put up the king of hearts. Seems like a weird play. And then he did something in diamonds that I wasn't paying attention to. Well, no problem. I guess he wasn't willing to bank his contract on just like the club splitting. Queen third of clubs on side or whatever. Looks like whatever's happening, he thinks he's making it. I, as usual, have not been following the play. King of spades. I guess it makes sense. He's just taking the diamond hook. Made two. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting hand. Wow, I have another fairly distributional hand. I mean, this is no 8-5, so everyone cool your jets, but... East opens a spade, partner makes a takeout double. It's possible partner has like a no trumpy type hand. So no guarantee that part that the opponents have a huge spade fit, but I think we'll hear from West probably. I, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do over four spades. I don't have the values for a five diamond bid, but I might bid it anyway. Hmm. Fascinating. We don't have good agreements here. I'm just going to bid five diamonds. Like, we might make this. That's the reason I'm bidding five diamonds. It has nothing to do with, like, uh, you know, we have four high card points, the opponents have a big spade fit, I'm just saving. I think we have legit chances to make this, so I feel kind of obligated to, to bid it. We could also be going down, like, quite a bit, but I'm willing to take the shot. I think most likely is the opponents make four spades and we're down a couple of tricks and five diamonds. <clears throat> Well, that's not the most lovely hand <laughs> that I've seen. <laughs> nice takeout double part. <laughs> he does have four hearts. <laughs> All right, 10 of hearts opening lead.
Well, good news is they're making four spades. They have a spade loser. I mean, I assume they're making it. Maybe they aren't. They have no diamonds, but they could have a spade and three clubs to lose. I think it's pretty unlikely. Ten of hearts is a weird lead as well. I guess West has the ace, king, queen of hearts. Hmm. So East must have... I mean, why are they not just leading their ace-kings? East clearly has the ace-king of spades. <laughs> just lead a high spade and then, you know, continue playing. I don't get why we're not leading a high spade. It's so weird. I think East effectively is getting like squeezed in spades and clubs. Like if they ever pitch clubs, then I can run the club suit just by taking a couple of finesses. They have king fourth. And hey Lapras, thanks for the raid. Hope your stream went well. Um, and if East doesn't pitch clubs, okay, they do pitch a club. So hey Gamester. If that's the case, East is 5, 1, 3, 4 in shape. I should be able to pull one round of trumps. <clears throat> East probably should duck this trick just to kind of preserve their options. Giving up trump control is often not the right thing to do on defense, but I mean, maybe, maybe East wins. All right, the Jack of Diamonds holds. Okay, Diamonds are 4-0, which is scary, but I think we're okay. Oh no, that means East uh, started with three clubs, so they did pitch a club finally. They are gonna get a club rough, and there's just nothing I can do about it. Hmm. All right, so I'm down three. Which means, well, East was declaring the spade, so I guess they were making four spades, um, which is at least good news on that front. Here's the king of clubs. And unfortunately, there's just nothing I can do. I can try the club queen, but you know what East is gonna rough this, so. All right, down three. <clears throat> Not terrible. I mean, we're gonna lose a couple against four spades making. As long as our teammates don't stumble into five spades, we'll be okay. <laughs> so that's kind of what we need to avoid on this one. <laughs> Partner really did have an awful hand. <laughs> Whoa, East had, or West had the king of spades as well. Oh, that's crazy to me. Wait, we won 12? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> that was not what I saw coming. Oh my god. <laughs> South doubled six spades. South was on lead? They didn't lead the club ace? <laughs> Pavlicek, buddy, we need to get your eyes checked. You doubled because you had two tricks. The opponents went through key card. The Ace of Clubs is cashing. You don't want it to go away. 
<laughs> oh my. Oopsies. Big oopsies. All right, partner opens a spade. We get two clubs. I will, um... Could I have got out for down two on the previous board? I don't know, I'll look at it later. I guess I'm just gonna bid four spades. We're vulnerable, so it's like, this hand can't really just be like five small spades and out. I have to have a little something. My hand's maybe too good for this. I could have bid three clubs, I guess, but it's like if I bid three clubs and partner signs off, I'm, <laughs> I'm supposed to pass with this hand. Maybe that's fine. That doesn't feel like an imp thing to do. Hold on a second. Let's see if this hand's interesting and then I wanna pull up. If it's not, I do want to pull up five diamonds doubled after I cash the jack of diamonds. Like maybe if I knew about the four zero diamond split from the start, I could have made it from here. Did I tell my partner good luck? Hopefully. <laughs> Looks like a club switch beats us. As I say that, the opponents find the club switch. It's probably not that difficult to find. That eight of diamonds felt very uh, upside down to me. Maybe I should have uh, bid three clubs and respected a three spade sign off. I mean, partner had six, wait, partner had? Didn't partner have 16? <laughs> Did I miscount partner's high cards? Hold on a second. <laughs> Did partner... <laughs> partner started with 17. Oh, did I miss something in diamonds? Perhaps too dumb of a question. There are no dumb questions, but if this was imps or match points, what changes in terms of this form of scoring? Yeah, so like... At match points, board 14, or at a team board of ma team match points would be board a match. Board 14, we would have only gotten one point for five diamonds doubled down three, as opposed to our teammates bidding and making six spades doubled. Um, so at, at match points, like getting a really, really good score is less useful than it is at imps. And so that means like being more aggressive and bidding games where if you keep, if you go down in two games and you make one of them, you earn more imps than you would have lost. I mean, ish, that, that's not exactly how the math works, but, but that's basically the idea that like you can afford to go down more in games at imps because you're going to get um, your points back when you make it. I didn't do a good job explaining it. <laughs> Take it away, chat. You got this, I'm sure. Did partner really have 17? Partner just had a 16 count. What, what was one spade? Why didn't we bid a no trump? Whatever, it was, it's, all, it's all good. West passes in front of me. I have 17. We are playing 15 to 17. I mean, I'm gonna open 15 to 17. I personally think there's no alternative, but... Yeah, I mean, the actual number is a little bit higher. It's, it's actually like 37% or so, but yes, I mean, that, that's the idea. <laughs> I, I, I definitely didn't explain it very well. Yeah, if, if you and your opponents both like get a really good result on boards and match points, then it's 50-50, you're just tied. Whereas in imps, if I bid a game and make it, and then 
um, on the very next board I mess up badly and let the opponents make a part score, then we might still be ahead by quite a lot because the imps for bidding game is much more highly rewarded. Hopefully that makes sense. Three diamonds, double. I feel like I should just pass. I mean, we're favorable, so it's like bidding three now, or bidding four hearts or whatever, just doesn't, there's no guarantee we have a heart fit. I'm, I'm just gonna pass. I mean, I have a lot of diamonds for this auction. Partner's gonna lead the king of spades into my stiff ace. Just watch. <laughs> just, just you wait. Okay, king of clubs. I will encourage. I mean, this could easily be a doubleton. Oh. Huh. I was very hesitant about that Queen of Clubs play. I'm worried partner might try and cash the Spade King. Hopefully he doesn't. I, I think it would be fairly reasonable for him to do so, but okay, he leads the Jack of Spades, which is good. Now I can play the King of Hearts to get Count in the Heart Suit. Okay, this is fine. King of Hearts, Ace, Jack. Jack is not helpful, partner. Jack is really not helpful. <laughs> That Jag of Hearts really not useful to me. Um, spade to the Queen. Well, we're getting a monster result on this board, which feels pretty good. Uh, I guess Declare does just have good diamonds, which is understandable. Makes sense. <clears throat> okay, well, 800 still feels pretty good. Where were we headed? Four hearts, probably. Win 13. Nope, we were headed to five hearts, apparently. That's where we were about to end up. Wow. They opened a diamond on my hand. Fucking clowns. <laughs> Reversed into hearts. I mean... What a roller coaster of a match. Yeah, we're two thirds of the way through. <laughs> Yikes. East says, sorry, forbidden partner. You should be. <laughs> Kid, get out of here. Stop bidding like that. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm I'm sure that the that the no singleton was the main problem on the hand. Or wrong colors was really what went wrong for the opponents on that one. Good ten to thirteen. Okay. Looks good to me. King of Spades lead. Well, that's also a good ten to thirteen. Hopefully everyone understands that I generally am just poking fun. I mean, three diamonds is a pretty big clown bid, but <laughs> like, look, some people like to bid like juniors, you know? All right, we have scored our three spade tricks. Now what? I feel like our chances to beat a no trump have gone down significantly.
as a junior representative, you would also you would not bid on that hand. That makes sense. <clears throat> I think there is zero chance that we're defeating this contract. It's all about the over tricks. The other table is way faster than us. I guess maybe I've been a little slow because of stream, but I feel like our pace of play has been all right throughout the match. It also feels like maybe we should be losing. I mean, board 14, Pavlicek is a fucking clown. How could he not lead the club ace against this auction? That's just insane. West splintered in diamonds. What do you think? Like West faked their splinter? <laughs> that West actually has a club splinter? But then why are you doubling? I don't get it. <laughs> like double was a great bid. Just double and cash your club ace and score plus 100. There's no problem. <clears throat> Uh, what's going on here? I haven't been paying attention. Do I need to like hold on to some cards? I don't know. I'm going to pitch a heart. Feels like that suit also split. I have the feeling that maybe, maybe we lost a trick there in the end position somehow. Or maybe partner was like squeezed or something. Was not paying attention, whatever. Zapsniff, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate the support. Enjoy all of the wonderful emotes. Long overdue? Well, you're here now. I do appreciate all subs. So one diamond, zero or more, 14 to 16 if balanced. Maybe I had this backwards? Because this makes sense to me once again. Like now they're playing 10 to 13, favorable. All right, what's going on? A diamond, a heart. I guess I'm supposed to bid two diamonds. <clears throat> Hopefully partner doesn't interpret this as natural. We have had a discussion that um, to know, to know is interesting. I'm tempted to try three no with all these diamond values. I feel like we always get a spade lead though against that contract. Let's just bid four hearts. It's fine. <clears throat> At match points, maybe three no would be the right bid. I could see it. Did my Twitch username used to be this? Brady B13? No. You get assigned. Um, a prefix to your emotes when you become affiliate. And there's not much I can do about it to change it. Um, I think maybe if I get partner ever, which seems unlikely to happen with a bridge channel, but I guess it's possible, then um, maybe I could apply for like a name change or something. But it doesn't seem likely. So there must have been like 
12 or something other Brady B somethings that reached affiliate status and got emotes unlocked on their channels in the past before me. I mean, Twitch has been around for a very long time. They've been around since like 2000, like early 2000. So it would have been like 2007, maybe 2008. I don't exactly remember when they started up, but maybe even earlier than that. So it's not that surprising that among in the past 20-ish years, there have been 12 other people who streamed and made the minimum requirements to unlock emotes on their channel with similar usernames. You know, Russians with botnets, please don't hook me up. I have, <laughs> I think we're, we might be close to the point where half of my followers now are bots. So I might have more human followers than bot followers on the channel, but there was this like giant bot raid that happened one day. <laughs> and, um, and <laughs> like all of the bots, uh, just followed the channel because I turned on followers only mode since they were spamming the chat. <laughs> and so the bots <laughs> all followed the channel and realized that they needed to follow for like more than 24 hours so they couldn't post. It was, it was really funny. Wow. What happened at the other table? A heart overcall, two diamonds, two hearts? Well, two, two hearts is fine. I, I actually don't mind the two heart bid, but how could North pass? North had 14. Oh, North had 12. I miscounted my points. <laughs> this is what happens if I, if I like stream against human opponents. I, I like counting is really hard. I still definitely would have taken another call. North has a really good hand. I mean, I have a really, North, whatever. I refer to myself in third person sometimes. What's the harm in that? Look, we're about to find out what difference the vulnerability makes because I'm so bidding three clubs over whatever West opens. Here, boom. One diamond, easy three club bid. Go after me now. I dare you. It sounds like they're about to go after me. That's fine. I mean, we're favorable, right? There's nothing wrong. <laughs> How could this be bad? <clears throat> I don't know, maybe this is a huge throw. Majors aren't splitting well. They might have just been on their way to like four hearts down one. Was the diamond alert? It's zero or more. They're playing a precision system, but it's like a little bit unusual. So it could be zero diamonds. And if I'm correct, it is also 10 to 13 if balanced. Who am I playing with? This is Prahlad. That is a picture of him from probably around the time the account was created in 2005. Um, <laughs> but he is a old friend who I used to play bridge with growing up. <clears throat> yeah, they're playing precision with 4405 openers. Whoa, this feels great. <laughs> Thanks, Bard. Okay. So they were probably on their way to three now is what I'm guessing. And it looks like that contract might have made, I mean, I don't know, maybe we could score five tricks on defense, but it seems pretty unlikely. Well, I am excited <laughs> that this contract seems like we're probably in pretty good shape. Oh, that date from 05 was when the BBO client kind of switched to the web version. That's possible. Well, so these opponents told us that two clubs and two diamonds are natural, like minimum opener style bids. What happened on trick one? West encouraged and East did not continue the suit. Okay. 
Well, Ace of Hearts, Heart Rough has to be the start of the play. I mean, obviously, East is planning on sitting for a reopening double. So my plan is just going to be to try and take as many roughs in hand as possible. Right? Yeah. Jack of hearts. Maybe it's queen jack third. All right, West gets to win. Presumably cash another high spade. Find out that he started with stiff ace. And um, no, East did not start with stiff ace. OK. Fancy. Huh. Another diamond. <laughs> I'm not playing with very many ums. So let's see, if, if I only take the ace-king of clubs from here, oh, which I don't, um, I was getting out for down four, but now I'm down three. I am content to just take two more tricks. All right, down three, minus 150. Feels like it's going to be a pretty big result for us, I hope. We'll see. Push board. Wow, three clubs undoubled down three of both tables. That's surprising. Huh. Five boards to go. Oh my god, I'm 7-4 now? I've had all of the distributional hands tonight. Wait, is that true? I really have not been paying that close attention. Three club opener. Um, I mean, I'm going to bid three spades because I have a club void. I don't feel great about it, but I think I just have to. I do not have a very good hand for this bid. I'm fairly minimal. Like, if partner makes a slam try, I'm definitely going to reject it. Five clubs by East. OK. I'm a little worried about partner doubling, but I will respect it. I mean, it's not like I'm going to run to five diamonds or five spades or something. I could easily be going down so many tricks. This five clubs might be bid to make, for sure. Partner bids five, no. I feel like spades has to be the one of the suits that's being offered. Uh, okay, let's, I mean, let's think this through. So if partner has a small singleton spade, then six spades is obviously bad. Um, I mean, if partner has a small doubleton spade, I, I think partner is likely to have an ace and a spade. Five, no, holy shit. Yeah, I'm worried that six diamonds will get passed and we'll be in the wrong suit. That's my main concern right now. Uh, 
Uh, okay, let's try it. Okay, partner bid six spades. So this is a grand try. Now, I said I was rejecting a slam try, but I do have a club void. I feel like partner has the club ace, though. Mm. <laughs> okay. Just letting the table know that I'm gonna think for a second. So what is partner's hand? I mean, to make the grand, I, I need the spade ace, the heart ace, the diamond ace. I think he has the club ace. <sighs> Unfortunately, I mean, the club ace is a good card. It pitches my heart loser. I already said I was like very light for this three spade over call. Like what if we're off the diamond days? We could be, right? I mean, six spades might go down on ace of diamonds, diamond rough. Now I feel terrible about the six diamond bid. I've just alerted them to the fact that I have long diamonds. I don't know, I'm just gonna pass. All right, thanks, partner. How'd we do? Ace of clubs. Ah! We're just cold. I mean, we might not be, but... King, queen, jack of clubs, if they have the king of fires, so I'm gonna play a spade to the ace. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I could bit it. I thought for a while. <laughs> thought for quite some time. Unfortunately for me, partner didn't have the club ace, so it was, um, wow. We still won 13 on the board. Four boards to go. We are running away with this match. What happened in the other room? Three clubs, three spades pass. Four clubs, four spades, five spades. I did say I was rejecting a slam trap. <laughs> So, I don't know. I don't know what would have happened if we got an auction like this. I mean, it, it feels weird to say I'm rejecting a slam try and then be thinking about bidding a grand with the hand I held. Five spades must be asking for the king, queen of trumps in that sequence. I mean, yeah, actually it probably is. You thought five node denied club control because six clubs showed it. I don't think vulnerability is right to be bidding here with partner being a passed hand. Um, <clears throat> maybe that's a fair point. I, I'm not, what was the range? 14 to 16. All right, let's lead a cl uh, spade. Let's lead a club. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. It's, I, I guess I would need to have good agreements with my partner. Do you think, you, you're Will, right? Um, do you think that six clubs there should show first round club control and five no should be a slam try with like second round club control? Seven, jack, queen, ace. Okay, this feels like a good opening lead. We play reverse smith. 
It makes sense as an agreement. I, I'm totally on board with that, for sure. Oh, oh, five no, then six spades, which is clearly a slam try in spades, or a grand try in spades, of course. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, that makes sense. Um, sure. We did it. Partner forgot to open two hearts in third seat. Fair enough. <laughs> Partner has been playing too much robot bridge. <laughs> trying to duplicate their auctions. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's definitely an interesting hand. It still is kind of like worth thinking about though, because like, my hand was terrible. <laughs> Maybe it's, even if I know that partner's values don't include the club ace and he's like looking for a club control, it could still be wrong to bid the grand. I think I would have preferred to be there opposite this hand, but I'm not 100% certain. I mean, the King of Hearts could be offside for sure. Spades could be 4-0. So it's not like a completely lay down grand, but it's probably worth being in at imps. Strong club, I will pass. We got what, three boards to go? They can technically pick up 72 imps on these last three. We might end up losing the match. Seems unlikely, as long as we stay out of trouble. <laughs> I still feel bad about board six. I'm gonna keep coming back to that. I, I don't I really don't know if this is on me. Maybe the auction just timed out well for the opponents. 17 to 19, no trump. Let's lead. Diamond or heart, actually? I'm tempted by the heart lead. I don't want to lead away from the diamond king into the strong hand. Let's lead a heart. Five clubs was a good bid by them on board 20. The other room made it easy. Yeah, and, and they still missed. Six, seven, jack, queen. I would like to amend my opening lead to a diamond, please. Can we do that? Are there take backs? There is an undo button, which I could click. We'll see if they give it to me after seeing trick one. <laughs> Pretty unlikely, I imagine. So four, nine, 13, West has 17, partner is eight to 10 over there. Um, I probably shouldn't have given positive Smith, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> that, was, that feels like maybe a pretty big blunder. I don't know, the eight of diamonds could come in handy, maybe. I could have given the six, I suppose. That, that four of diamonds is very suspicious. <laughs> I, that was not the right card to play. It's late. Spade switch. I like this. I will play the seven, I guess, for now. Four of spades is missing. Worth noting. So I think West started with Ace King, third of spades. Ace 10, whatever of diamonds. Is partner showing out here? No. The eight of diamonds is important. Look at, the, look at us go. We gotta make a discard. 
which I guess is going to be a spade, probably. West has ace-king, third of spades. I wonder if I need to pitch the queen of spades. Um, I guess I can throw a club for now. I feel like we're going to see a diamond exit. I can cash two diamonds and then exit the spade queen. There it is. Oh, hello. Didn't see that coming. Was I supposed to see this coming? Maybe, maybe I should have seen this coming. <laughs> All right, maybe that one's on me. We probably could have worked this one out, couldn't we? Just by counting high cards. Ace, queen of hearts, ace of diamonds, king of spades. I guess I was still under the impression that Declare had the Ace King third of spades what was what was going on. Partner very confidently switched to a low spade from Ace Jack Nine fourth, which I don't think is so clear, given how few entries Declare has to dummy. But understandable. Hey, we beat a no trump. We won five. Now the match is actually out of reach. We have won. Pass by South. That's partner. One spade opener. I think I might just <laughs> I might just pass. Is that too chicken? I'm just gonna pass. <laughs> Partners have passed hand. I mean like where are we headed if I bid two clubs? <laughs> Apparently to two clubs doubled. <laughs> I think that's where we were headed. <laughs> no, not unlikely. East probably at two clubs for most um Partnerships is just like a balanced um, game, whatever thing. <laughs> I mean, I definitely wasn't bidding three clubs with this hand. Maybe I should. I don't know. Like on board one, would I bid three clubs over a spade with this, with partner being a past hand? Maybe. Maybe a little bit this late in the match when we're so far ahead it doesn't seem like a thing to do I mean, again i said we we can't lose so maybe it was fine ah west needs to play some more against me doesn't see the insurmountable leads in barometer very often <laughs> i feel like that happens most of the time at least when I'm sitting against um, opponents. Like, I don't know who these guys are. Supposedly, they're people I know from back home, or might know from back home. But they have been a OK partnership. <clears throat> we can't lose, but we can certainly try. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I have the feeling that three clubs would have just uh, made the auction a little bit more challenging for them. Maybe they'd miss the slam. I, I have no idea where they're headed. I think I am leading the club ace, though. Would a double of exclusion ask for a club lead? Well, I will have you know that I am on lead <laughs> wherever they end up. So normally, if you're going to be on opening lead, then a double of exclusion would suggest a sacrifice. I'm going to try and give my partner a club rough for what it's worth. I'm pretty sure. I 
I don't feel like seven clubs doubled down six. Probably not. Yeah, I, I don't... Like, West, I think, is somewhat likely to have the club king. No guarantee on that, but... I'm, I'm just going to try and give partner club lead. Or a club rough. <clears throat> Hmm. So, does West have 6-6 six, six or 7-5 in spades and hearts? I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> they do. Cool. Very cool. Unless they psyched exclusion, which is possible. I still think Ace of Clubs in a club was the... Best defense, but maybe against some opponents, like Zach Grosak. <clears throat> Sorry, just had a Zach Grosak in my cough. Um, but against certain opponents, maybe playing for the exclusion psych would be the thing to do. So West was 6-6. Six, six. We were close. Almost got that club rough. Lose 12. Other table got to five hearts. Why are people being so timid with like these massive fit hands? I mean, not, not even like massive fit. It's just like a, a big old hand with a bunch of suits and no losers. I don't know. Last board. Thanks, Ops. Shift. Yes, good Good point. If I did accidentally end up with a Zach Grosak in my throat, he's a big boy, um, that would have serious medical implications. So... <laughs> now look at this hand. This looks like a perfect three club bid to me. I think we're definitely going to open three clubs or overcall three clubs, unless West bids a no trump. He's a big boy. He is a big boy. <laughs> oh, we are no longer going to open three clubs. We're we are just going to calmly pass, wait our turn. Maybe we'll get to make an opening lead. Not a two hard opener. Hmm. Maybe king queen 10 fourth. It would be a fun last board. How good of a save is seven diamonds on the previous hand? <laughs> is that a question worth asking? We have a spade, a heart, a diamond, and a club to lose. There might be some complications with clubs splitting badly, but probably not. We have all the intermediate spots. I think it's only down four. We had an 800 save. I guess this one's on me. I should have doubled five diamonds, suggesting a save. Two diamonds pass, three diamonds wobble. Do I bid game? How crazy is it to bid four hearts here? Pretty crazy, right? Partner has to have a really good hand over there. I'm gonna try it. What could go wrong? <laughs> I mean, this bid would be a lot better if I had five small hearts, because we're not guaranteed to have a fit. East is thinking about going after me. Maybe. Maybe East is thinking about bidding five diamonds. That would be lovely. <laughs> no, East passes. All right. Thanks, Bard. Last board. I get to play one. West is thinking about bidding five diamonds. Hold. <laughs> I mean, if West wanted to bid five diamonds, they should double. 
I think there would be an unusual hand that they could have, but I guess it's possible. All right, partner doesn't have a great hand, but it's not like three hearts was gonna be a picnic either. <laughs> Maybe three hearts could have made nine of diamonds to the queen. I guess East has everything else. Double wouldn't, wouldn't be penalties. Oh, by East, absolutely. Double by East would be penalty. Double by West, I mean like West can't have a penalty double. So no, it would not be by West. Oh, this feels terrible. Oh yeah, I forgot, West doesn't have a preempt. West has, um, well, whatever it is. The two diamond opener showing the thing. <laughs> I'm down one. I'm not playing this hand very carefully. Yeah, 10 to 16, no four card major. That's the one. Like, presumably, I should be playing this more carefully to guard against 4 1 trumps. I should set up spades first, but it looks like we're doing okay. Are they getting a club rough? No. Down one, lose three. Other table was in four diamonds, west down one. Cool, nice match. We won by 39. We more than doubled their score. Way to go us.